Generative Fill is amazing. You can add anything you want to your photos. And now for the first time ever, you can choose a reference image of exactly what you would like to add in and AI will composite the image for you. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com. We're going to show you this awesome new feature that is in beta Photoshop. So if you have access to the general Photoshop, you have access to that beta, go ahead and download it, the Creative Cloud Installer. Now it works basically the same like Generative Fill does before. You make a selection, you type in whatever you want, but now you can add that reference image so you can choose exactly what you'd like to show up. So let's go ahead and take a look here where I want to replace these sunglasses. So we're going to start with our lasso tool. Let's just make a selection right over top of our lasso to our <laughs> sunglasses there. Fantastic. I'm going to hold alt or option to mine out or minus out our subjects nose. We just want to replace these sunglasses. There we go. Now up at the very top, we're going to click on generative fill. You can see what would you like to generate optional. And then for the first time ever, we have this button here, which is going to allow, allow us to add a reference image. So I'm going to still type in sunglasses. It's important. There we go. It's important to type in what you actually want it to generate. Let's go ahead and choose our reference image. We have a reference image, choose image right here. And we're going to go here to our sample images. We're going to go ahead to sunglasses 01. And these are just the sunglasses I want to add. I think they're going to be super cool. Let's go ahead and hit OK. OK, we have our sunglasses. We have our check mark here. Let's click on generate. All right. And as we can see, it did a fantastic job. Look at those sunglasses. We have a few different variations of the sunglasses. They are giving me party time. I absolutely love this. Now you can see you have your reference image here. What happens if you want to change your reference image? You don't have to create a new selection. You don't have to create a new generative fill layer. All you have to do is click on this icon right over here next to the generate or back in our contextual taskbar. Let's go ahead and click there. Now you can see this is our reference image. You can choose to delete it if you want, which is just going to give you whatever AI decides sunglasses look like. Or you can go right here to replace image. Let's click on that. Now, if I go to replace image, we have this sunglasses image. Now this has some sunglasses, but it also has this jewelry in here. So let's go ahead and hit open and see what that does. Let's click on generate. So again, I'm on the same exact generative fill layer. I don't have to make a new selection. I'm just changing out the reference image. <laughs> all right. And here's our result. You can see it took all of the elements from that reference photo and put them together to make these amazing <laughs> custom sunglasses. I am in love. I mean, honestly, these sunglasses are super, super cool. Now, of course, we can still choose to generate more images as we'd like. Now, I happen to think this is awesome, but keep in mind, it did take all of those different elements from that reference photo and combined them all together to make these sunglasses. What if you just want the sunglasses? Well, all you have to do is cut out the sunglasses from the original photo. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to zoom back in here. We have our reference image. Now, in this case, what I can do, I, a lot of simple things. Honestly, I can just go ahead and make a selection right around these sunglasses. There we go. Let's go to our layers here. I'm going to go to my background and just click here on my layer mask. Okay, just a simple layer mask. Okay, let's go to file. We're going to go down to save as. There we go. And then our format here, you can just choose a PNG. It can be a JPEG. That's totally cool. All right. Well, I'm going to call these sunglasses O2B. I already did this before, so I had it at A. There we go. All right. So we're just saving these as sunglasses in a new file, basically. It doesn't matter what you call it. Okay. Now, as I zoom back in here, I still have my sunglasses. I still have my reference image. Let's go ahead and click there. We're going to see there's a reference image. It took these sunglasses and all the jewelry. Let's go to replace image. We're just going to go ahead and go to that new file with just the sunglasses cut out and hit open and then click on generate again. There we go. And now it's just going to choose those sunglasses to generate and put in this place. So I think this is actually kind of a cool feature that maybe they didn't super intend to do, but you can create accessories and objects based off of a lot of different other objects. So if you're styling a piece and want to like bring a lot of different references together, you can do that with this AI tool. All right. And here we have just our sunglasses. You can see we have a few different variations of the sunglasses. They all look really great and very similar. Let's go ahead and go back to the original ones. Very similar to the ones in our reference image. If I hit F for full screen. So you can see all of these are in the same generative fill layer. Remember, this is the first example we chose. These are the second examples that we chose. 
And then here's the third example. So all done using simple reference images for AI. And to top it all off, if you want to completely remove the reference, you can go right over here, just click there and delete your reference. Okay, let's go ahead and close that out. You still have sunglasses. We're going to click on generate one more time. And this is using traditional AI. This is just going to choose whatever sunglasses it thinks should be there and put them in your image. And here we have our original images with the AI with no reference images. And as you can see, they look fantastic. Our different reference images. I love these as well. So we have more options than ever to create fantastic new images with reference photos in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.